Imagine if you had to build, if you had to buy your lumber to build your bushcraft shelter. I'm gonna sell my shelter. You know how much the lumber in the in the cottage is worth right now. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna sell the cottage build off piece by piece because lumber prices are so fucking high. I might be able to pull that off. There's some goddamn idiot out there who will buy it. They're never gonna see me going out on like one of those seven or ten day stays. I don't have the time to do it. Daddy's got a day job. Daddy's got to go to work. Daddy don't live off of his wife's income. I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go to work, and I don't miss a day of work. I don't give a fuck if I don't feel like being there, or I don't want to be there, or I'm sick, or whatever. I'm going to fucking work. There ain't nobody keeping me away from my job. I do love my job, though. I guess that helps. It helps when you actually like the work that you do. And uh, I'm not trying to live there or anything like that. You know, you should work to live, not live to work. I'm not saying, you know, I have a pretty strong work ethic. Uh, Courtney's work, work ethic is double mine. Uh, but, um, yeah. Don't let work become your everything. You gotta go to work. Man's gotta have a job. I don't know. Man, there's this rising culture of people out there that just don't want to, they don't want to do shit. And 2020, as bad as it was, it, it, it kind of reinforced that I don't want to work for my self-culture. Now we got this new uh, Rona Social Security pan program rolling out where everybody can get unemployment and fucking stimulus checks for sitting on their asses growing mold. I don't agree with that. Uh, uh, and it's going to handicap us in the future. I think it's going to handicap us this summer. Uh, a lot of people don't want to go back to work. There's no truck drivers hauling that gas. There's no truck drivers hauling that food. So they got to pay the drivers that are on duty a little bit more. And that all trickles down to the customers. So whenever your gas prices go up and your food prices go up and your fucking precious toilet paper prices go up, it's because your sorry ass don't want to fucking go get a job. And there are uh, countless fucking jobs out there. You can't use the virus anymore as an excuse to, to not go to work. There is no excuse not to go to work. I don't give a fuck. Uh, you know, you, you go any place now, they have... Like, your lumber prices are insane. Lumber company, lumber prices went skyrocket high. And of course, everybody's still buying it because you gotta have it. They can charge whatever they want, you know? But yeah, prices are going to skyrocket if people want to sit on their asses. You're going to pay more. You're going to pay more. And where do you think that stimulus money comes from? It comes from us taxpayers. So we're paying for them to sit on their asses. I don't agree with that. There is no excuse for a grown ass man not to have fucking some type of employment. And YouTube is not a job. YouTube is a hobby at best. I mean, this shit's easy. This is nothing. You know, nobody, no, but no, even a successful YouTuber doesn't consider this a job. This is just one facet of what they do as an influencer uh, to, uh, you know, be able to break in that income. Because I t I'll tell you what, straight up right now, uh, YouTube is not going to pay them enough for a, a weekly wage. YouTube alone will not cut it. You'll lose your shit. I don't care how many subscribers or how many views you get. You're getting Google's pocket lint on this platform. Jesus Christ, I got 7 million views. and out of, I'm, I'm, You make like a $1,000 for a million views. That is absolutely nothing. It's less than a penny of view. Come on. Ain't nobody going to get rich on YouTube. You got to do, do other things. You got to whore out yourself out to sponsors or you got to work other platforms. and You know, you, you're not going to get rich doing this yet. It's not a job. It's not a career. Social media influencing is not based on YouTube alone. It's based on a, a, an influencer will have 25, 30 different fucking websites that they maintain every single day in order to bring their enough money in to survive. It. That's work. Being a YouTuber, not work. Being a fucking hobby camper, not work. Have some goddamn dignity, man. You get your ass a jobby job. I go to work. I come home. I film. I stream. I, I edit. I do all that stuff, and it don't interrupt anything. And if my wife says, shut it down, we shut it down. Today, all day long, my wife has been saying, I want to play marbles. So we are going to go play marbles on Twitch uh, here tonight. We didn't get to play Friday night because it had some technical issues. There's a bitrate difference between 
what I got set up on Streamlabs for YouTube and what I got set up for uh, the Twitch stream and that bit rate was off and I couldn't change it while we were streaming. So we got that fixed, we got that all set up, we should have a nice smooth stream for marbles tonight. We're going to get some time in over there to make the gals happy. Uh, bonus. Uh, I think this next week, uh, we're going to be rolling out some new content this next week. So next, this next week is going to be busy, just like all the other weeks prior. Uh, I get to go back out to the woods this next week. So we're going to have some uh, base camp content, and I need to go down and get the clay. I mentioned this on my social media pages. I get to go down and get the clay for uh, the base for the sword. The sword is actually going to be sitting in a podium that I'm going to fire out of clay. Yeah, 15,000 subs. 15,164. When I woke up this morning, I had 14 minutes. Now I have 15, 164. And it goes up like every 10 minutes or so. They'll come, they'll go. It'll go up and down. A lot of them will come to my channel. They'll say, Sean sent me over here to check you out. You're a dick. And they'll leave. Hey, Tina. Hey, Tina, we gonna be playing marbles tonight. And new baby next weekend, too. Yeah, we got that coming up. Busy, busy times. It's gonna be a good. This this next week's gonna be a good week. I get to go back to the woods, so we actually get some outdoors content because we don't want you know the trolls thinking they got a, a, a hand up on us because yeah, you don't. I ain't been in the woods and I don't know how long, and you're still not above me. Because when we go back to the woods, we are gonna be doing shit you can't do. Corp sent you here to the channel. Do you regret it yet, John? Because I probably make you regret it. I have that personality type. I'm a dick. Man bun? We ain't gonna do that. I look like a fucking fraggle. But I don't cut my hair. I don't like my hair short. That's a... I don't know. It's a thing. I never liked my hair short. But I ain't gonna be wearing it up in a fucking man bun either. No. No, that ain't gonna go over. So there is that. There's actually a, a spiritual aspect to having a top knot. But a man bun? That's just a city slicker bullshit thing. And I've seen other guys with haircuts look like... Like cancer done gave up on them and they, they just greasy fucking mop on top. Come on. But yeah, a top knot does have... Uh, some uh, spiritual significance in certain fighting styles. So I don't, I don't really, I don't judge the top nut style unless I know a little bit more about the film. But you, you know, a city slicker man bun, the goddamn hipster. No, we ain't gonna do that. We just beat the shit out of the hipsters. There should be a season for that. Like you go hipster hunting. Like a bunch of country folk just get together and go hip, hipster hunting in some fucking little fucking, you know, suburb of a city. I am going to be putting up some outdoors content here on YouTube uh, this week. I am going to get out to that fucking woods, rain or shine, uh, and we're going to get some filming done. We, 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 I got a shit ton of apples and a shit ton of carrots to take over to our deer. And that stuff's got to be dropped off before it goes bad. So we are going to have a day when we're just hanging out with the deer herd, and I'll be live streaming the herd. So we're going to live stream sitting right with the deer. You guys, a lot of you guys have seen it before. Some of the new folks haven't. We're going to go out. We're going to track the deer down. The fawns have been born, so we might get to see some babies with spots on them. We're going to be sitting right in the middle of that deer herd. And we're, our goal is to get this wild deer to eat apples or carrots, in this case, out of our hand on a live stream. We've had that goal for a long damn time. We're going to try to pull it off again this week. Alright. Oh, I need to get out for a, uh, I, I need to get out for an overnight or two. So we will be back in the woods. We will be back with the deer. We're gonna we're gonna uh, work with our cheater herd a little bit, see if we can get them to eat out of our hand. We're gonna go take a look at HB, make sure that old man's doing okay. Check out his rack. His rack's probably got felt on it by now and it's gonna be going pretty good. Uh, and up in HB's herd, a lot more does in that herd, and we got a pretty good chance of seeing the fawns too. If you remember, uh, was it last year or the year before? I think it was the year before. We actually got the the deer, the, the adults, we got HB and the mamas with the fawns playing with raccoons all on video. Epic fucking footage. We're going to try to do it again this year. We're going to try to get deer and raccoons playing together that early morning twilight hour. Uh, that's magic hour. They're all out there feeding together. They're playing around with each other. 
it's it's a great opportunity and if we can get it on the live stream all the better we want to live stream from the woods as much as we can because it's more authentic than an edited video you guys know you're not being conned what you see on that screen is happening in real time low latency and as high quality as we can get it i've tried to live stream everything from the woods uh, whenever we get that done, we're going to be going back to base camp. i got to get down to base camp this next week. I'm going to be going there Thursday. Down to base camp because I need to carry out an entire fucking backpack or two of blue clay. i got a blue clay deposit down there that's been exposed. I need to get that clay out of that bank and get it in my backpack and back home before flood water washes it all out and I lose all that blue clay because that will happen. That blue clay is extremely fucking rare. We're going to take the blue clay, we're going to bring it back, I'm going to carry out like 50 to 80 pounds of blue clay, we're going to bring that back home, I'm going to process it up here, and then we're going to fire it, we got a forge out back, we're going to fire that clay in the forge to make the pedestal for the alpha sword to sit in, uh, so this can be displayed properly. So the sword, will, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking the sword and I'll be making an imprint of the sword down into the clay. Uh, then we fire the clay so we can set the sword down in this pedestal and it just, it's, it sets up right. Cool? Cool. And then this is the sword we're going to be using on the Hunts Now Twitch series. You're going to see it in the Medieval Survival series where we talk about how they survived in medieval times. The foods that they ate and we're going to be eating the same food that they ate back in medieval times. We're going to be doing the uh, Medieval Survival series over on Twitch and that includes the sword fight, the sword training and everything. Uh, longbow, we're going to get that in there. Uh, everything that they used back in the day. Staff, spear, sword, shield, all of it's going to be coming to the Huntsman Alpha Twitch series. Uh, 